Hey everyone, it's Stu from Ukulele Zen, the YouTube channel that's all about helping you to learn to play music in a way that's natural, fun, it makes you feel free. Today we're going to be learning I Feel Fine by the Beatles. I'm going to teach you the song, the lead guitar intro, the lead guitar solo, and then at the end of this lesson we'll have a play along jam, so I hope you'll stick around and jam with me. This video is for everyone, but is also a follow-up and a thank you for everyone who attended my workshops at the Villages and in Orlando, Florida. Thanks so much to everybody who came out. I had such a good time with you all, and I hope this video helps you go deeper. I put out videos every week, so if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you can keep in the loop every time I put up a new video. I've made a really thorough PDF song sheet and tablature for this lesson. It has the chords, the lyrics, also the lead guitar intro and the solo all tabbed out, and the introduction also has the fretboard diagrams. So if you'd like to get a copy of this, you can click the link below. It'll take you to my Patreon page. You can support this channel and receive that PDF for this lesson, as well as lots of other benefits and perks at my Ukulele Zen Patreon page. Hope you'll click the link in the video description below so you can learn all about the benefits and all the goodies waiting for you there. This song's a ton of fun, and it's really fun to play with friends. You can have some people strumming while other people play the lead riff. It's a really great song to play with your ukulele groups. The chords you'll need are D7, C7, and G7. For the bridge, we're gonna use four chords, G, B minor, C, and D major. And you can of course finger the D major like that if that's easier for you. Now like I said, the PDF that goes along with this is really well laid out. It has all the details in it. So I'm just gonna go through the lead intro kind of quickly here. The way it works is this. Be singing. What I'm doing, of course, is simulating what the lead players would be playing with my voice while the strum players hold each chord. Now, for every chord, there is a corresponding lick. For the D7 chord, what we're gonna do is slide your ring finger up to the 10th fret, and you wanna be seeing a little triangular shape here on the neck. Notice how when I play, I let my lead finger be the ring finger, and I'm also leaving the index finger down. So I'm not hopping around like this. I have both fingers planted. That makes playing the riff a lot easier. Now the Beatles play this pretty fast. I think a good goal to have is to see the correlation between each riff and the chords that support it. For the D7, you're beginning here at the 10th fret. For the C7 chord, you're beginning here with the ring finger at the 8th fret. And then for the G7 chord, you're playing here at the 3rd fret. And then you would be strumming the G7 chord and singing the first verse. Notice how there's a similar pattern to the fingers. As you play this riff, when it moves down here, almost the same thing happening, and then the same pattern moves down here. It just looks a little bit different because you have the open string involved. So try playing through the whole introduction. Remember, the chords will strum on beat one, and the riff begins on beat two. Let's try this at a pretty healthy tempo. This is 120 beats a minute. I'll play both parts. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one. the rest. We'll jam out the whole tune at the end of the video, so please stick around. Now for those of you who are playing on your own and you've kind of fancy pickers, you can do this little trick. I strum the D7 chord and look, I slide that ring finger. It's already on the second string. If you play D7 like this, your ring finger is ready and then you just have to target your 10th fret. You can also simulate the chords by playing the open string C on beat one. one. 
and then the open G string on beat one. Here it is at pretty close to Ringo tempo, this 160 beats a minute. One, two, a one, two, three, four, one. Yes, I am picking with my thumb, making sure that I'm not bending the knuckle like this, but moving the entire thumb from way back here at the wrist. I'm just trying to be thorough so you can have a good time plan and grow well with your music. If you haven't already, please check out the link below to the Patreon page. There's a whole lot of cool benefits waiting for you there, including this PDF for this lesson. All right, let's learn the solo. This is actually not so hard. We're gonna involve sliding the ring finger up to the 10th fret. See what I did? I'm making the sound a little tastier by sliding up into the 10th fret, then sliding up into the 12th fret, then slide down. It's a real classic blues riff. So now that I showed you the solo in super slow motion, let me play it at tempo. This is Ringo tempo, 160 beats a minute. Notice how after the solo ends, it goes back to the introduction riff where the riffs begin on beat two. If you're a strummer during the solo, you're holding down a steady G7. Here we go. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four. Let's jam out the whole song start to finish. We're gonna do it a little slower so it's manageable and so you can join in with me with fun and ease. I'm gonna be filling out the part a little bit. I hope that you'll strum along the chords. I am at times going to do a little more advanced uh, version and that is when we get to the part, you know she said so. You've probably heard the song a thousand times, if not more. You know that the riff comes back on the D7 chord. It also comes back on, I'm in love with her and I feel fine. So I'm gonna do this more advanced version. I invite you to try. You'll hear me doing it and it'll sound a lot more like the recording. But please, play it the way you like. All right, so let's do this. Remember, if you're gonna strum the chords during the introduction, you only strum once on beat one. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four, one. Yeah, you got it. Keep going. 
baby's good to me You know she's happy as can be You know she said so She's in love with me And I feel fine Second bridge I'm so steady tempo. You could try it faster. You could even try it slower. Remember, um, this is meant to be for two people or a whole group of people. You don't have to do what I was doing where I'm simulating both parts in one. If you want to try it, go redhead. Be my guest. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you had a good time with this. Please click the subscribe button for more videos. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And I hope to see you in the next video. Remember that if you had a good time with this, you are going to have a great time with us at Ukulele Zen, the fourth annual Ukulele Zen Retreat, June 30th through July 5th. Five days of ukulele bliss. I'm telling you, I hope you can make it because it is really, really a good time. Thanks so much for watching. Wishing you all the best.